Hi everyone, uh, I'm making a video that I've promised about binding uh, loose uh, adjunal pages and it all started with me having this kind of uh, adjunal and the, this uh, thing uh, started uh, to rust and I had problems moving the pages so I decided to take everything out and bind it uh, another way so <clears throat> my last video I uh, showed you uh, the cover that I took uh, from uh, this kind of adjunal I made the cover uh, in the last uh, video and this is it as you can see here are the holes I'm moving it the side we are now going I'm going to show you how to start binding now I've got all these loose pages that uh, first of all I paired what do, do I mean by paired is that I looked for things that I would like to uh, see together like this one and this one look to me it can be a uh, be together and this one and this one and so on and so on now I've got pairs of uh, original pages and first of all I need to trim this uh, this thing so I'm just taking a metal ruler I'm eyeballing it I don't like measuring you know me by now and as you can see I've already got a pile here because I've already prepared most of the pages so here we go a pair and I'm putting them like this for now moving it aside again trimming okay so that's the trimming and here I've got uh, two of a kind next uh, thing how to bind it the uh, important uh, thing that you need is hinges so you to, to make this kind of binding you need hinges I'm using paper and not just any paper you need a, a thick paper something that will hold your pages and here are the options now just so you all know printer paper no it won't hold this kind of a uh, pages this is too flimsy now I've got here like this one is like 110 uh, grams for paper it can be used I don't want to risk it and then you've got all kinds of uh, scrapbook paper these are like 120 grams it can work you can use all kinds of leftovers to make your hinges now you don't have to have a, <clears throat> a paper that will go all the way uh, for your page to make a hinge but it's preferable because then it will be more sturdy now uh, it can also be I've got here just a uh, cardboards these are these come for with the uh, take a pizza it's supposed to be for the, your slice and I can also use this as a hinge I'm just folding it and making a hinge for my page after I trimmed it of course but it can be a hinge also if you have little scraps of paper like let's see I'm just cutting it to show uh, what I'm talking about if you have little pieces of uh, some kind of leftovers you can also make hinges like this it doesn't have to be a uh, all over from a uh, top to bottom to it just needs to be sturdy the 
this thing now you can pick any color you want you can do it so it will show or won't show when uh, it can also be decorative I'll just uh, just uh, to make it uh, so you can see what I'm talking about I'm taking this our origami papers they are very flimsy but I just want you to show you how it can be decorative I'm not going for decorative right now I just want to show you options for what you can do because you can also uh, use this technique for other projects any kind of albums uh, that you want to make like I can take strips of paper glue them to my pages like so I'm doing it roughly and making a crease and I'm uh, if I want it to be some uh, decorative I will leave a space between my page and the crease of the hinge that I made like so and then on the other side you will have the decorative element I hope I uh, made myself uh, clear <laughs> so I'm not going for decorative uh, right now and I'm use I'm going to use a script scrapbook paper that is uh, 240 uh, grams per paper and I've got lots of it and very ugly ones so I'm going it's great for me for me to uh, do the uh, to make use of them and uh, to make the hinges so here is one of them the 70s puked all over it I don't like it so I'm gonna uh, make me hinges out of this and not wanting to waste anything I'm and I'm not measuring I'm going to make four hinges out of this scrapbook, scrapbook paper which is 12 by 12 now uh, remember um, if this is the color uh, that you want to show uh, then it, when you fold it and make a hinge it will be on the inside and this uh, that I don't want to show will be on the outside because it will get covered with the whole cover of the art journal so that's how I'm making my hinges and here we go And folding making hinges now here we go I've got lots of these uh, hinges and now I, I'm gonna show you how it's going to work here is a hinge this is the inside I'm taking a let's see Taking two pages that I fit together, here is my couple, and now I'm going to use silicone glue. If you want, this is local brand from a cheap store. If you want silicone glue, this is the glue you are after. Now you can do it with score tape. You can do it uh, without whatever <laughs> glue you have. I'm just uh, it's easier for me to work with this and just remember that if it's a uh, glue that takes a lot of time to uh, dry put pa paper clips or bulldog clips to hold your page to the hinge so i'm putting down glue and just i'm avoiding the crease when i'm going to put the page on i'm going to take at least a millimeter from uh, this fold if it will be on the fold it won't fold <laughs> so I'm placing it 
here, aligning in, in uh, one place, like so. And making sure that I can uh, bend my hinge. Again, putting down glue here, avoiding the crease. And putting down my page again, avoiding one millimeter from the crease and trying to take with my finger excess uh, glue. And now I can trim my hinge very easily. No measuring without measuring. Here we go. Now, here is the hinge. You don't see uh, this side, you can only see this side. Of course, if you want something to show, go for it. You can put the black here, you can put whatever scrapbook paper you have with any design you like. I'm going for the white and I don't want this to show. So again, uh, here if it doesn't uh, stick fast, put something that will hold it in place. You don't want it to move. I'm uh, putting this aside. I've already done several pages like, like this. So I'm going to do another one just so you will see again how I'm uh, putting it on my hinge and then we'll continue. Here we go. Taking two other pages, putting down glue, avoiding the crease. Oops. Aligning it with the hinge at the bottom and avoiding the crease by one millimeter. Making sure I can fold it. Putting down glue on the other side. You can see here it's lifting, that's what I talked about, putting down uh, clips to hold it in place. Here we go. Again, making sure I can fold it easily. And trimming. Just because I didn't want to measure. If you want to measure in advance your hinge, go for it. Here we go, another couple of pages. So I'm going to do all this pile of pages with hinges. And once I'm and this pile that I still need to trim the edges, and then I'll come back to assemble all this. I'll be back. I'm back. So here is the pile of uh, all this uh, couple of pages that I've uh, got together with the hinge. Now you uh, start to assemble all the, this together and it's just simple. It's the back to back method like I showed you how I construct my other art journals. So I'm just flipping it, put, putting down glue again you can use whatever glue you want you can use a hot glue gun you can use a <coughs> sorry score tape whatever you fancy whatever you have and now i'm just aligning it and putting pressure and here we go back to back so this is it <laughs> It's very, very simple. 
and what I love about it is first of all of course I don't have to do any signatures and stitching so for me it's a plus and also I can decide how many pages I want and I can decide that this is just too much all of this and I can do two art journals so I'm going to uh, continue uh, assembling all these pages back to back here we go as you can see here here is the inches and the ugly papers that I've used and if you wanted and you used lovely paper with lovely pattern it can also be decorative as you can see but uh, just so uh, if you want it decorative to leave it and be seen your cover will be without a spine because if you put a spine this will get covered so I'm continuing to uh, glue down all this back to back and when I'm finished I'll be back and we'll do the, the cover and the spine I'll be back I'm back so here is uh, all the assembled uh, pages as you can see here are the hinges and now I want to do the cover now uh, it got quite chunky so I decided to leave uh, several of the uh, pages uh, out of it and I'm I will start another uh, one like this here we go here I've got several more and it will be in another uh, journal because this is quite a uh, as I said chunky so I've got this I've got the covers that I've made in last video here is the back that's going to go uh, here here is the front and now I need a spine so I want a flexible spine and I'm going to make it with this strip of bubble up and you can use any kind of strong fabric you can even use a fun foam a, or craft foam and put on top of it a glue down a fabric of your choice and it will be flexible and sturdy so let's see I'm going to First of all, I'm uh, taking, I want it like double, I don't want just one, so I'm going to do something like that, and here we go. So. I'm thinking I need the hot glue gun or uh, it won't hold so I'll bring my hot glue gun I'll <laughs> let it fire up and I'll be back again I'm back so here is the glue gun and I'm just gonna put down glue here and it's giving me trouble as always I'm trying to put down the glue and uh, make sure everything is in place without burning my fingers which is what I usually do just a talent of mine what's up with this glue gun jeez
this is the back that I'm doing now attaching the ball up here and I've done two uh, because I want it sturdy I've got lots of uh, pages and I want everything to stay in place Here we go, this is how it looks from the outside and this is my spine. Now if you want you can put uh, here a, a piece of uh, a chipboard or a sturdy a cardboard but I'm leaving it as is. And now I want to attach the front, let's see. So again, I'm putting down glue here. Here we go. Here is my cover. Now I'm not finished with it. I'm just going to move aside the glue gun before I have an accident with it as usual. Yesterday I managed to cut myself on a rotary cutter just so i haven't used it it was sitting here i reached for something else and just cut my finger how nice there are days that i'm just thrown for accidents now i'm uh, taking two uh, black this black, black pages that i want to put here and here uh, you don't have to i just want to make sure everything is in place before I'm uh, attaching all these pages to my cover and this is the easiest way I uh, to make sure everything will be covered and nice and neat so I'm going to put down uh, again silicone glue all over especially make sure the edges are covered And I'm going to take uh, some bulldog clips to make sure it will stay in place. Let's see. Until it's, it's dry, I want it firm, firmly in place. Here we go. Now the other side. I'll just put the glue on on my page. Here we 
go. Here we go. That's better. Okay, so I'll be back once I'm sure it's all uh, dry and then I'll attach my pages to the cover. I'll be back. I'm back. So here is the cover and before I'm attaching my pages here uh, if you want some kind of closure for your ajono, this is the time to do it. If you want some ribbons, then you take a ribbon, you glue it here and here, and only then put down all your pages and you have uh, it tucked inside and nicely. Another uh, form of closure that you can use are, you can take uh, old suspenders, you can take uh, old uh, belts and make the same thing. And I've all in another uh, ajono I used a, uh, an old uh, wrist uh, watch band to do the closure. And today I'm because I used ball up here. I'm going to use this. Uh, burlap trim a ribbon whatever to do the closure and I'm just taking a hot glue gun oh, should have been here never mind here we go And if you want uh, to make sure that it's on the same level, just flip it over and place it so it would be the same place. So I've got the ribbon and now for attaching all my pages and I really need to move some stuff here. Here we go. Basically what's going to happen is that I'm going to glue this page here and this page here. And that's all there is to it. This is the journal, like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down glue on both sides. making sure it's tucked in place like so here we go That's it. Now only let it uh, dry the, all the glue and maybe even put something heavy just so everything will be in place. And this is it. That's my uh, journal and the cover and the binding. 
and I hope you liked it and I'll try to do a, a, a flip through uh, like some of you asked and this is it for now I hope you enjoyed it I hope it will give you uh, ideas and thanks for watching thanks for leaving me comments below it really is a uh, great when I read your comments and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now